All right, can you guys hear me back there? No? Then stop talking, Roman. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna get this kicked off here. So welcome to the Junior Prospects Hockey League. Uh, my name is Justin Combs, for those of you who don't know me. Uh, I've been working on this passion project called Michigan Elite Hockey for the last four years. Uh, so Mike asked me to just do a quick intro, how we got here uh, to this league in, in particular. Coach Mike spent a lot of time working on graphics last night. Um, but no, so like any good Michigan elite hockey idea, it starts at the bar. So uh, Mike, Kip, and I were at the Cozy just up the road, and we were kicking around ideas. How can we uh, have something that keeps the, the players going during the summer uh, and allows them to compete but also get exposure at the same time. And so that was uh, really the main goal of this league. And so I'm not gonna steal any more thunder, but uh, I came up with the idea. Mike has poured gasoline on it and he's really been left to uh, drive it home. So without further ado, Mike. Dusty, Dusty. We call him Dusty Combs. He's my favorite right there. So we think we're live streaming, not entirely sure. Um, that's a true story. I mean, uh, Combs and I ideate, that's our big word for bullshit, uh, quite often on hockey stuff. Uh, he's been on the ground floor of Michigan Elite Hockey here for the last five years. We, we started the brand really just getting our own kids private training, a um, couple tournament teams, and it's really morphed into something special. Um, this by far is the craziest wildest biggest thing that I've ever done in the sport I wake up every morning and I just I I'm like why am I doing this but um, when you see some of the feedback that we've got from the junior teams uh, that to me is when I said this is gonna work uh, it's gonna work big and I think we're on to really you know something special but this is a hundred percent about the boys okay this is not about us presenting and us you know Michigan League hockey stuff this is a hundred percent about the players so um, I'm just going to spend five minutes. The, the, the majority of the presentation, if you will, is the players coming up to get their jerseys, NHL style, as Coach Kip said. Um, so we got two mics because one's recording the live stream and this one's so you can hear us. So thank you, Dusty, for giving us the origin of Michigan League Hockey. So um, I call this the junior jungle. I don't know if you can see it. I want to preface this by saying I am by no way, shape, or form an expert in this space. I'm only in the space uh, because I have two of my own boys. My daughter was lucky enough to get found at 16 and playing out east. That was easy. I didn't have to do anything with her. With the boys, this is a proverbial SH show, uh, as you're about to find out. So you um, might know some of this. And again, I'm no expert here, but I'm educating myself, and I'm educating myself not only for my two boys, but for your kid, um, because a lot of these kids are my kids. Uh, I've coached a lot of the 03 crop uh, that's playing junior hockey now or trying to go to junior hockey. I've had those kids since they were seven or eight. So um, that's not to say that I don't care about the Sharones and the Armstrongs and the guys that I can see right now um, that have come to us in the last year. Uh, it, it's not the case at all. It's not like I'm just out for the 03 crop. Um, I got into this thing and it's a, it's a passion now I can't get out. Um, but I'm really highly motivated to get you boys somewhere. And where that somewhere is, I, I'm not entirely sure. That's really up to you, candidly. Um, but just so you know, and I thought this was really important, uh, so that you, you, you know kind of when we talk this language, and you might know some of this and maybe some of you don't, but you know, there is only one tier one uh, junior program in the United States, and that's the USHL. And just to put things in perspective, um, there are only 16 USHL teams in the United States of America. So if you do advanced math, I had to do it on my phone, but it's like 300 something players that play in the USHL. 300 players out of a landscape that is 3 million. And did you know though that five or six kids in this room right here are either drafted to the USHL or will be drafted to the USHL? 
So the, the, the demographic of hockey in Brighton, Michigan, or what we say Kensington Valley, is astonishing. I mean, just to have that many kids, that caliber of player here in this room right now, just goes to show you uh, how big the opportunity is. Now, that's really hard to make. A lot, most of the players are never going to see USHL ice, they'll never see Division I hockey, and, and very few will, will, will go pro, even in Europe, okay? But, so the other tier one is the CHL, the Canadian Hockey League is made up of three uh, leagues, the Ontario, uh, the OHL, which most people know, uh, the Western Hockey League, and the Quebec Major Junior. That's the CHL. So hard to get to that level, so hard. Where we see the biggest opportunity is right here. And when we've, we've been reaching out to these guys, and they're kind of like, yeah, we know those kids. We, we see them every weekend in showcases. Who this is really speaking to, this Michigan League Junior Prospects program is right here. So the NAL teams, the NCDC teams, and BCHL guys are all, <clears throat> all over this. When you see the feedback from these clubs, you're gonna be blown away. That's why that one morning I woke up and my, our social media girls sent me the feedback from the, some of the junior teams. And I just, I told Justin, I'm like, it was just a sigh of relief for me. Cause I'm like, I'm doing all this work and I don't want medal prizes or even accolades. I don't care. I just want it to work. When I attach myself to something, I want it to work. I want it to be great. Um, and when we got the feedback from the junior teams, uh, as you're gonna see some of it, I knew this was real and I knew it was going to work and most important and how does it work like the proofs in the pudding when your kid goes somewhere then you come back and you go you know what Wainwright that was awesome we were connected to teams and programs that we we wouldn't have found on our own and that's why I call it the junior jungle so this is great I mean this is you know, inspiring these guys did you know also this is a fun stat that 97 percent of the players that play in this league get a division one scholarship that's how good that brand of hockey is. 97% will get a Division I scholarship. A good chunk will come out of, out of Tier 2. But the way this thing works, and the reason I put it up, most of these kids, a lot of these kids, are going to start right here in the Tier 3 juniors. So you're going to pay. These are tuition-free, tuition-free, no pay. And I know, Mom and Dad, you would just love to get your kid here or here. Me too. Right? It's very expensive to play in the USPHL or the NA3. And this is the feeder. The NA3 is the feeder to the NAL. USPHL is the feeder to the NCDC. And then there's the Eastern Hockey League. That's tier three juniors. You're going to pay. Okay? You're going to pay. But the hope is you're going to go there and pay and then try to get here. Or if you're here, you're trying to go here. And if you're here, you're trying to go play in college. Or if you're going the OHL route, you're, you're trying to go pro. So I just... Again, I'm no expert on it. I just I'm talk this talk 24 7. It's all I do anymore. And mainly because of my own kids. I'm just I'm trying to figure it out, I'm trying to get them where they as far as they can go. So that's kind of the kind of all that, okay? And I, this is gonna be fast, I promise. I'm not trying to sell you a timeshare here or anything. So the the Michigan League Judy Prospect goals, I, I again I said this, it's in, in our if you watch the video, everything we do, if we only accomplish one thing. Here, it would be that. Exposure, that's why we yelled it in the video. Exposure, like that's what this is for. That's all this is for, okay? But we try to be fully transparent in everything. And when I, I say that, I don't mean like, uh, you know, about, what I'm, what I'm trying to say by what transparency and honesty is like, where are your kids at? To you boys, like we talk honestly with the players and where they're at. Like, you have to know that. Sometimes it's not what you want to hear. I've heard it on my own kids. I, I don't want to hear it. Sometimes it's, it's, you know, it's kind of sobering when they go, yeah, the kid's got an A-plus hockey IQ, but he has a work ethic. It's like a, a B-minus, and that's not going to translate in the USHL. And you go, dang, that sucks. But, right, you don't, you're not going to, nothing changes until the hard words are spoken. So if we're direct with you, mom and dad, and namely the players, it's for your benefit. We don't, we're not trying to hurt anybody's feelings, just trying to get you where you need to go. So that's the transparency and honesty part. So we're a development company. Michigan League Hockey is a, we say in everything, every promotional material that we have, it's like real hockey development. And what is that? Skills, speed, hockey IQ, and really at this junction, this product is understanding the landscape of hockey, okay? Who's got their phone on? Oh, it's my mom. <laughs> Kick that old lady out of here. Um, 
So at the end of all of it though, you know, it's money, right? And, and you guys spend a lot of money. And I really, I thought about this today at my little run. The players, you should all know, car ride home tonight if you're with your mom and dad, and most of you drive, but at some point this week, whether you drive home with your parents tonight, at some point this week, just go to your mom or dad, thank you. Thank you. It's, it's an incredible commitment from the parents financially. I get it, like I feel bad every time I send out a, a Venmo request for 300 bucks, because it's just never, Ending. My boys are going to junior camps every weekend. It's two grand, right? Flights, the camp itself, eating, it's nonstop door dashing and Panera. You know, it's like, it's never ending. So I, I'm really sensitive to the financial part of, of hockey. But at the end of the day, I hope that you look back when this thing's over in eight weeks and you look at the program and then you're our greatest ambassador for next year. That incoming crop of 06s next year, you go, that was the best money that I've ever spent. Because you could spend two, three, four thousand dollars a year on, on an advisor, and we're not trying to take the place of that. I want to be clear on that we're not advisors at all. But you could spend that kind of money and go absolutely nowhere. And we hope for this. Not only the kids are going to have an absolute blast playing, and we're trying to make this a special event for them, but that you go. That was really pound for pound, dollar for dollar. That was the best money we ever spent. So I hope that happens. I don't know. You tell me at the end of the thing. Okay. So this this was it, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna um, introduce you to our social media team. They're very low low budget uh, social media team, but I'm old, not really, but older. And I don't get it. And I know a lot of mom and dads don't get it, but I know that's where it's going, right? Like the the gen, whatever the hell gen they are, like they are. They're social media driven. So we knew in our approach to that, I was smart enough to know, how do I get the players? I have to get them through social media. And I have, thank God I had boys playing tier one hockey because they have a big network of friends. And then Michigan League Hockey brought us a lot of kids too, right? Our, our split season teams and summer camps. But if you're gonna succeed in, in anything anymore in business or whatever, you better figure out social media. I'll tell you that. And once I got an education on it, and once I saw what they started doing, um, it was astonishing, and I literally just went to my kid. She plays hockey out in Boston, so she's a hockey kid, and I just said, I need help. I, I need to reach the kids, and I barely Facebook. You know what I mean? I text real well, but I, I, you know, I can't text five million people. So there's so much power in social media. So um, I was gonna bring uh, my charming little baby girl up here for just one minute, and they're gonna talk to you about the social media that's going behind us, because I think it's relevant. I think you guys wanna know what they're doing um, to hit the junior teams and what we're going to do going forward to promote this brand. So, okay, Elle, this is Elise. Make her feel welcome. She's very shy. You got Hello. one minute. Hello. Hello. Hi, oh. everybody. So, I know a lot of you, but if you don't, my name's Elise. A lot of people tell me I'm the favorite child. So, yes. as the favorite, I took over the social media for him. And my friend Mac is too nervous to come up here. But we Stand have. Yes, Mac. <laughs> oh, she's coming. Oh, hi, Mac. So <laughs> we created an Instagram. We started Twitter, Facebook, and we just followed everybody we could. We are posting videos, pictures of the boys. We're tagging them. We're getting everyone involved, and we're just trying to grow Michigan Elite and get the name out there as much as possible. And so, you can talk about the teams. So we went from. They went, we had no, no, we had no, I don't talk that loud. We had no anything. We had no Instagram, no Facebook, no Twitter, no nothing. So they turned this thing on about a month ago just to try to get the boys. The girls have the followers up to like 1,200. But the thing that you really want to see is this, and I'll let the girls talk to the script that we wrote. And um, we sent out, I don't know, they've sent out about pers 50 personal invitations and um, of the 50 that we sent out, like eight people didn't reply, 42 of them did with this. And I don't know if you can see it, but we'll, we'll present this, but Matt can read some of the stuff that, this is the, these are just the null teams that we had. Okay, so over the past two weeks, we've been emailing about uh, all the junior teams yeah, that we could read. Um, so as we can see, the Northeast Generals, the head coach, responded back and said absolutely where a scout's response for the Northeast General said thank you so much for sharing the 
Northeast Generals will be definitely tuning in. Um, some of the other ones were the Lone Star, Bramus. Um, I'm interested in watching the games. Is there any cost to view the games? Also, can I watch the games after they've been played? So basically we're just getting back to these coaches with like rosters. We're telling them to check out the website and they're definitely tuning in either Wednesday night or the following day on their um, phones or computers. Okay, that's good. That's good. There you go, Mac. There you go, Mac. There you go. Trying to get him out of there. So, so Mac plays hockey with Elise, and she wants to go into sports marketing. So she was the perfect one. When we start talking about this, I'm like, that's my girl right there. We'll get Mac. We'll put her on it. So they're a little shy, but just they're on with me 24-7. Hey, we just heard from, uh, you know, this NCDC team. These are the NCDC teams. Uh, you know, Boston Advantage, happy to, but I mean, you can read all this, whatever, I'm not gonna read it word for word, but every single, just about every single junior team that we hit, absolutely loves the idea. They're asking, the big question centered around, how much does it cost? You know, do, do, are you guys agents? Do we have to go through you? Like we, the, the girls answer these questions all day long, but um, we, we hit on something, and, and I hope, hopefully we hit on something that's to the benefit of the boys, okay? so. Um, last thing, and then we're going to bring the coaches up and start introducing the players. So we have tons of material coming. This is why I want the boys in a collared shirt today, because uh, this is one piece of collateral that, that we've developed. Um, it's not going to be all Gavin Cherry up there with the name Michael Wainwright, but we're in process of, this is why we, we captured all the stats with the boys. We have headshots of every player so far. That's going to go on the scout card. These guys want these cards. Uh, we're going to have them available, hopefully, at the rink for Wednesday night games. And most of the scouts are not going to be in Brighton, Michigan. This is why we knew we had to broadcast this. And it's stressing me out, the broadcast and the tech. I'm not a technology guy, so it's, it's draining me. Um, I'm going to introduce everybody later, but thank Jimmy over here is saving my life. But um, we knew we had to reach these, we had to make this available uh, on, on live stream or at least record it so these scouts could watch it. Um, but this is what they wanted. Almost every scout said, okay, well, I need the roster. And on the roster, I want to know where the kid's from. Obviously, they're all Michigan kids. What's the height, weight, position? Because when, as you guys are about to see, uh, they're very specific. Like the Brahmas right now are looking for a right-handed defenseman. Uh, you know, they, they, they just traded out two, two right-handed D. So it's very specific. We need a center. We need blah, 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 blah. So th this is the stuff they want to see. Um, and we'll have the, you know, have the boys' jersey numbers up there. Okay, so, um, sorry I lied, there's one more, because I want to do shit to everybody. So this is the crew. Um, you're going to meet the coaches in a second, so I'm not going to spend too much time on, on those guys. They're going to come up here and actually uh, chat, and you'll get to see them. Um, our announcers are kind of all over the board. So we got Al Randall from uh, Voice of Michigan Radio, Pletch, Big Ten Network, um, Krupski, uh, TJ from... Uh, uh, University of Michigan. Um, we have the Voice of Syracuse guy. He's coming back in the middle. So what you're going to see in the announcers, it's not going to be the same person every week, which I think is better because they all call the games a little bit differently. It's going to be there's going to be a lot of consistency there, so they learn the players uh, and the coaches and whatnot. But um, we will. You're going to. See, they're all professional announcers. That's the key. It's not me, right? I'm not calling the game. I mean, I I swear too much to call a game. So um, our producer is Jim, turn around and wave. Can you put the camera on yourself? So this is Jim Sutton, um, yes, yes, yes. Jim is like, to me, is it like right in, right there with the coaches and the announcers. Not that anybody, not that the camera people aren't important, but like we have spent so much time uh, trying to perfect this craft, just learning how to live stream games. And we literally bought everything for the rink because that's how vested I am in the program. This thing's gonna go. So it was worth the capital investment to get the cameras, to get the production board. We built a sound stage in the South Rink. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but it's a broadcast booth in the South Rink. That's where all our games are. I mean, that's how that's how vested we are in making this thing go. So um, so that's Jim, and you'll see he's there every week. And we're and that other thing is we're gonna just get better week over week, right? You're gonna watch the first one maybe on the rebroadcast and. And there'll be some glitches for sure. We know we're gonna have some technology issues and, and we're gonna miss some beats, but you know, we're just gonna get better week, week over week, we hope. And then we're gonna start you know, doing interviews, player interviews and things. We probably won't do it the first week, but anyway, so our camera crew, 
Um, the girls are in the back, so I'm just gonna have them wave there. Anna, where you at? There's Anna Schultz and Chloe Mackinson's our clock runner. Liv Bellino didn't come, but her mom came in her place. And Cindy, Sh Cindy Schultz back there too. So um, we were really, like we had a lot of you awesome dads that I love to hang out with and talk. We're like, hey, I'll push a camera for you, this is fun. And I'm like, yeah, thanks, but we gotta pay people. We have to pay people well to show up on time and take it seriously. And then there's consistency, right? The, the, the production, we just want to get better week over week. So, so the girls uh, that are pushing the cameras, you're gonna see them. It's gonna be a little intimidating for the boys, probably the first game or so, uh, knowing that you're live. Um, but anyways, it's, it's, uh, we're super duper excited about the whole thing, okay? Uh, and then Elise that you just met, she's gonna, while well, she's home, she's trying to run back to Boston, but her and another girl we're gonna have running around interviewing the coaches and the players in between periods. So it's gonna have a, a, a you know, a D1 NHL feel to it. We're gonna have the, you know, the, the, the announcers are, uh, are gonna say, hey, this kid scored a big goal. Like we're gonna send it downstairs right now and boom, we're gonna throw the mic in somebody's face and um, it's gonna be fun. We hope to get the boys, we're also doing um, individual player interviews. Uh, we did a couple of them already that were really funny and we're gonna play those during the ice cuts. So, um, yeah, I'll get back to the format and the rules and everything at the very end. But, okay, without further ado, because you're tired of hearing me, I know it, I know it, I can feel it. I want to introduce the head coach for the steal. Give it up for Kip Miller. <laughs> Kip or Kip or. I call him my partner. I have to be very careful and clear that he's my business partner. He's happily married. Kip, right, right. he wishes he wishes he was smart. No. Um, so Kip, you know, probably one of the most notable guys in the in 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 the room here. Kip's got you know 15 years in the NHL, and and you know the Millers, right? That's one of the biggest lineages in in hockey, um, certainly in in Michigan. So okay, so Kip's going. This is how this is going to go. Kip can talk while I'm getting set up about how happy he is that he's uh, partnered with me. And, things um, but we're just gonna even if the players not here their names gonna go up there so a lot of people are watching live stream so they'll at least be able to see themselves you're gonna come up the girls are gonna give you your jersey Th Kip said throw it on I like it NHL style throw the jersey on we got you junior prospect hats and a puck that don't use it in the pond I think that's one that he goes in your on your shelf okay so here's mr. Kip All right thanks Mike I appreciate it um, thank you all for coming I just wanted to take a minute to uh, say since I, I think I met Mike about a year and a half ago, two years, through uh, Bigby getting involved and we met with Mike and Mike was gracious enough to let me coach with Michigan Elite Hockey. Um, and since I've been doing that, I've been having a blast coaching hockey. So when we came up with this stuff and he put it together, because when you get an idea, Mike runs with it. And he has put this whole thing together. So he's done a great job. Uh, and. I'm excited to coach. I'm excited to see what the kids bring. And uh, like you said, we're here to get you to the next level if we can, so. Okay, so I'm gonna let you, Kip, I think what we'll do, Yeah. here. I think what we're gonna do to make this better, because everybody wants a picture with the coach, is I'll just announce the names, and then boys, as you get called, uh, we got a camera crew, we're gonna get a quick pick, so smile, we'll get one or two pictures. This is gonna be part of your profile that goes on the uh, Michigan Elite site, so. You're gonna get the jersey puck, we'll get a quick picture, we'll just get the show rolling, okay? So these, I wanna to clarify too, this is not the draft order. Um, we deliberately did not share the draft order. Um, we were mixed as a coaching group on that, um, but we decided against it, so okay, here we go. So now first, not the first overall, but the first pick, uh, from Jackson, Michigan, is a goalie, Nick Schittenhelm. Fun to say his name, shit and hell, isn't it? <laughs> Nick, what did you just say, Nick? The jerseys are sick. That's what he said. There you go. All right, so as he's getting the picture, we're going to just keep this rolling, okay? Uh, next, for South Lion defenseman, Griff. For real? There he is. Come on, Griffin. He gave up golf today to come up here. So you gotta do like the Queen's clap because you're gonna do this 60 more times.
Next steal draft pick by Coach Miller. I'd be pretty honored if I was one of you guys and got drafted by Kip Miller. He didn't draft me. He didn't draft any of my kids either. It was terrible. He's my business partner. Literally said, I don't think I want the Wainwright voice. No, he didn't say that. From Novi, Michigan, a defenseman, Jackson Hare. Come on, Jax. Get that jersey on. Come on, get this is show rolling. All right, from Northville, Michigan, he's not here for Nick Sinani. Hi, Nick. We miss you, Nick. Yes, give a soft clap. Uh, Mac just broke his foot this morning. He's in, in the cast right now, so that sucks for Mac. He was going to try to wheelchair up here, but Mac Muzalowski from Milford High School and Milford, Michigan. From Howard, from Howell, from Howell, Michigan, Howard, <laughs> no, Everett's not here either, but Everett uh, was a tender, as you know, uh, one of the first uh, draft picks by um, one of the coaches. So that was pretty exciting for Everett to go as a tender. Uh, Griff's brother, we kept the brothers. We made an educated decision to keep them together. But Garrett Friel, not here, defenseman also from South Lyon. A lot of these kids are in junior camps, and we get it, uh, graduations, whatnot. Dad Fredder's here. Kid Fredder? No, Fredder? Nope. Fredder's in a tournament, I guess. So uh, from Livonia, Dustin Fredder, Michigan elite disciple. I know this guy's here from Livonia, defenseman Caden Hemi, ladies and gentlemen. I know this guy's here because he lives in my basement. Uh, he's a forward, Will Severian. Oh, I got a, got a very loud loud applause from the billet children back there. <laughs> from Gron Blank, his picture is up there. He's not here, Gavin Sherry, fantastic uh, tier one player. From Livonia, I know this big fella. So here's a big, tall, drink of water defenseman, Luke St. Ledger. A forward from Powell, that's Michigan or not, Owen Lowe, but he's not here. And I know this guy's here, he also lives in my basement, even though his house is only five miles away from mine. Forward from Highland, Michigan, Brett Beal. No, good press, I'm sure. He was also a uh, early tender by one of the coaches. Actually, Coach Kep, that was his first, first tender, was Brett. Uh, this guy's not here either. Uh, Wantuck from CC, fantastic forward from Canton, Michigan. Uh, where is Pegram? He's in a junior camp. He also lives in my house. Uh, but he's at, he, they had a, Kenai had a camp or something, I don't know, a lot of junior camps. And last but not least, I know he's here. Uh, Kip loves this guy, Ian Badgett. By the way, Ian played on our Tier 1 junior team this spring, and we never lost a game, so. Well, it was with Waz in net. Just for, just, for, just for the record, that was for, with Waz in the net. I hope he's listening. Okay, so that is all those good-looking fellas. Now, let us bring up the head, thank you, Coach Kip. Head coach, oh, we gotta get a picture with Ian Badge. Head coach of the Bucks. Look at this killer logo from Michigan, Andrew Merrick. Coach, I love the logo, Michael. Thank you. It's Thank great. You. I I worked on it's the it first I've seen it. I know. Uh, guys, I just real quick. I, I know we're running on time here, but uh, I want to thank Michael for having me. He brought me in early to this process. I, this is, uh, it's gonna be an awesome summer and great event for all the kids, I, I really believe that. So I told my group the other night, this is not your typical summer league hockey. We are here to win, we are here to compete, we are gonna play hard, and I'm gonna be on these boys to make sure we're doing that. So, and I have a pretty sizable bet with the rest of the coaches, we will win this summer. So just letting people know that, but thank you. It's aggressive, it's aggressive. All right, really lucky to have Andrew. He's actually, we roped him into Coach Michigan Elite Hockey, too. He's our, uh, our first 07 team got off the ground this spring with, uh, with Coach Andrew at the helm. So that's been awesome. Okay, 
So first off, from the box, from Novi, Michigan, he's in the house, Colin Babcock. He is at the USHL camp, Luke Sakala from Birmingham, Michigan. Good for Luke. Mitch Scamara, grad party, South Lion, South Lion High School. Bright Michigan High School, fantastic defenseman Maddox McMullen, also grad party. I don't know where Cam Carver is, but he's from St. Trine, where's St. Trine, Michigan? I have no idea where that is, but it's in Michigan, so he's a defenseman, bell tire kid, great player. Uh, Noah Wood from Birmingham, Michigan. Noah's, is Noah's not here, is he? No, no, a lot of, a lot of R's, or a lot of regrets, sad. Uh, Braden Barlett, it's literally his graduation party today at his house. Drake Symbolic, Co Coach Andrew, no one showed up on your team. <laughs> They're rested. They're rested <laughs> to win that championship. Yeah. Luke Redoux, uh, not here either, another grad party. I get it's grad parties. Chappelle, not here. Not here. This is the fastest ceremony. <laughs> running thing we've ever had. Crew Smith, guess where he is? Not here. Not here. Where is he? Made in Michigan. Made in Michigan? Yeah. <laughs> this is more important than made in Michigan. Human Schmidt, not here. I, did you send out an email not to come for all your team? Lucas Wichtonowski from Pinkney, Michigan's a defenseman. He's here. Yes. There you go, Lucas. Boy, Lucas. Like, way to go, Lucas. Way to go. He gave up his grad party today just to come here. Uh, Deagle, also in the USHL camp in Muskegon right now, so he's forgiven. David Dell's supposed to be here. Where is David Dell? I don't know. He told me he was coming. Okay. Hugo. It's like a clean sweep here. Oh, Hugo's here. Oh, yay, Tim. From Boy, Ann Arbor, was... Michigan, a forward, Tim Huco. Coach Merrick was, was high on Tim Huco. So expecting big things out of you, Tim. Yeah, big <laughs> yeah. And I know this guy's here, goalie from Canton, Michigan. I think he's going to CC. Kyle Moore. And last but not least, you ran off the cage, off the page there from South Lion, Michigan, a goalie, Connor Benoit, or Benoit, as we like to say, Benoit. Okay, so as we're getting the last of the picks there, congratulations to the Bucks. All right, next up, this was a, this was a perfect team name for this guy. Um, Quite an impressive Michigan hockey family as well, the Krugs are. Uh, he's got a lot of NHL training experience. We're super lucky to have him. Uh, trains my kids uh, privately. I know he's legit, so he doesn't want to, but he trains them anyways. Give it up for Coach Kerry Krug. Good job, Coach. I, I thought I could talk, but holy crap, you talk. Jesus. I know. 20 minutes going on and on. Thank you. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Cool. There's nothing to say. I have nothing, nothing to say. I'm good. Okay. Here we go. I got it. All right. This guy's in the house. Number one from Trenton, Michigan, our goalie, Dax Lucidi. <laughs> He's in the house too from Brighton, Michigan. A forward. I thought he was a D. I wanted him to be a D because he's such a good D, but he wants to be a forward now. Whatever. Cal Nicky talked him into being a forward. Andrew Urbane. <laughs> and from Grand Rapids, not here. Defenseman Matt Brown. No Matt today. I know this guy's here. Some lived in my basement for a while and we kicked him out. From Pinkney, Michigan, a forward, Riley Evans. I know he's here too. He got a haircut for today and I want you all to Give him a rousing round of applause for his beautiful haircut from Ann Arbor, 
Joe Siever. Sorry, Joe. I bust you there. He is also in the house from Clarkston, Michigan, a forward. Little brother plays for our 06 Michigan Elite team. I, I've mastered the pronunciation of Gino Giannini. His dad's supposed to be here, but Stephen had to work today. Whatever. Not showing up to the commencement for work. Ridiculous. Northville, I think I saw this young man come in, the king of baseball, forward Griffin Crampton. We're going to lure him away from baseball with the Junior Prospect League once and for all. Uh, Alex also at the USHL camp. Defenseman. JC, COVID. Oh, well, he really has COVID, I think. I don't know. I haven't heard the word COVID in a long time, but he said it, and I was like, okay. Carson Wood, he's home alone this weekend. He's probably cleaning up beer cans in his pair of basements. So he was supposed to be here. No, oh, Carson. I know this guy's here from Livonia forward, Aiden Sharon. We call him Sharon, though. Look, Sharon, though. Aiden Sharon, Aiden Sharon. He was also a defenseman. We made him a forward. That was me, wasn't it, Dad? From West Bloomfield. Did Tommy get off the plane? No, Tommy Jocks. He's supposed to be here, too. I know this guy's here from South Lion. Team Michigan guy, led South Lion in just about everything, except good looks. Ryan Savagno. That was hurtful, wasn't it, Ryan? I don't know if the Juicy Jew made it here. Did you get back? Yeah, Jew's here. Oh, okay. This guy, Julian Wainwright. Where is he? Oh, did you win? That's all I want to know. Did you win? What was the score? Oh, they want to get away. No, then get out of here. Block a couple shots. DJ, also in the USHL camp. We have a lot of kids in USHL camps this weekend, so that's exciting. Uh, Postula had to pick up his brother from the airport coming in from Germany. And Jonas Stern, no, nope, I don't know, he had a grand party or something. Okay, and last but not least, we call him Sammy. I call him Sammy. Severian Posa, a uh, coach of the gamblers. Give it up for Coach Sammy. He could be Kip's son. Closer in age to being a brother to me, but could be Kip's son. Sam's pretty young. I'm not going to say my age, though. So, um, Guys, uh, my name is Sam Posa. I mean, Mike just kind of branched us into it a little bit, but um, no, just for myself, I, uh, I just came out of retirement and uh, I've been doing skill development now for a few years, but just one thing, I just wanted to talk on Mike's behalf really when I came up here. When I ran into Mike, uh, we just sat down for lunch and he kind of told me his overall viewpoint on just junior hockey and, and development. The big reason why I got into development myself is, I mean, obviously there's money in it. Let's call a spade a spade on that, but I mean, I've always just had a, I've always just had a draw to just help kids get better and to move them on. And when I sat down with Mike, he, I just, I, I shared a lot of the same viewpoints that he had. And one thing I have to say about Mike, and this isn't me just trying to pump your tires up here, okay? So don't get too high on your horse, okay? Nobody ever says anything <laughs> nice. <laughs> but no, so I mean, the one thing I have to say about Mike is that he really does this to help these guys out. And that's why I knew right away that I wanted to help them as well. So I'm really excited to get involved with this. Um, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. and and hopefully we can get a good draw out of it as well. No, I don't care, I don't care, do it. Okay. Okay, Coach Sam, super excited to have Sam on board too. Like our coaches are just, 
I had knocked the skin off the ball with the coaches because these guys are phenomenal. And they've been huge supporters of this. Not just me, but the brand. So couldn't do this without them, for sure. Okay, not his first pick, but a really big pick from Powers. Flushing, Michigan goalie, Nick Kurdiak. Also from Powers, there's a little trend going on here. From Flushing, Michigan defenseman Kyle Barber. A local Heartland player. Or I remember when he was like five years old. I think he played on the first travel team with Throman. Uh, from Heartland, Michigan, a four. We get, had a fantastic year at Heartland this year. Ben Pouillat. <laughs> Kyle, where are they on your date tonight? <laughs> One of my favorite 05s. I don't know why, because he just he makes me laugh and he puts the puck in the net. From Novi, Michigan, Gabe Armstrong. He's also here. I saw him. From Ann Arbor, defenseman Nick Pawkin. We're almost done clapping. Keep it up. We're in the last team. From Pinckney, Michigan, we won't hold that against him. Forward, Benny Shepard. Cut your hair, Bennett, for God's sakes. This guy I've raised since, <laughs> since he was 15. <laughs> the most glorious years. My 17th son from Highland, Michigan, Baby Bird himself, Austin Combs. If he was 6'2", he'd be in the NHL, I'll guarantee you. Oh boy, and then this came along. But he did pick your blue jerseys. Roman. Not here, from Trenton. <laughs> Brennan Green. Really impressive though that like our reach, most of our Michigan League stuff is all Val Kensington Valley stuff, but we really, you know, we pulled a lot of players from Grand Rapids and Trenton and I think next year it's gonna, this is that, that's just gonna continue to happen, so that's awesome. Uh, did Tyler make it? He was stuck in traffic. He was texting me. Is he here? Oh, he's here. Did Sam Posa like legit said, I'm going to take this guy overall number one if I have to. He just loves the way he plays. From Plymouth, Michigan, Tyler Kelly. Yes, sir. He's a bruiser. Don't let the small frame it's, it's kid you. I got my white horse right here. That's it. And I saw this clown stumble in from Northville, Michigan, into defenseman Alex Brudak. The very scary Russian name, Alex Brudak. Oh, sorry. Just go with Russian. He said he's Polish. I said just stick with Russian. I'm kidding. Saw this guy come in too. I think he missed, some, he gave something up really important to get here today. From Redford, Michigan, a longtime Michigan elite uh, loyalist, Brady Hoffmeyer. And he actually walked out in the middle of his graduation ceremony to make this today. From Milford, Michigan, another longtime Michigan elite kid, forward Pierce Ashcroft. Wow, 
the numbers are working out just perfectly and from Saline, Michigan. This is a tough role to be a, a coach's kid. Uh, he's a hell of a forward. I'm surprised his dad didn't snag him earlier or try to get him first. But Aiden Merrick. Son, Andrew. Andrew's Good uh, hands. Andrew's one of the one of the players just drafted to the USHL. So congratulations to Aiden. I believe yes, he is here. I did see him from another Heartland kid. Had a fantastic year at Heartland High School. We got two of the best Heartland High School kids for sure. Defenseman Brady Balagna. Getson, nope, he was a hard no. Not a hard no, but I he had an issue. And Evan Hayes couldn't make it either. So the final pick uh, in the 2022 draft for the Gamblers, this is what we call an end around sweep. From the OHL, Matthew Mania. <laughs> Spot. You guys surrendered it. The coaches are going ballistic on Mania. Hey, who back there played in the OHL? Right, right. Exactly. I got my OHL. Oh, yeah. So he has, if you notice, he has no, there's no name on that jersey. So. No, Ma Matthew is, uh, Matthew is uh, one of our reserve guys. But that was Sam's way of trying to stick it to Coach Merrick because we were trying to get, we were trying to get him in the door and then, yeah, uh, it's a long story. Okay, so hey, I know, Welcome. Uh, hey, I'm still I'm five minutes ahead of schedule, so I'm going to talk for five more minutes. Oh shoot, shoot! I, this is my this was my fault. Uh, yes, the most important player in the entire room. Thank God his parents aren't here and watching on on live stream. Um, to wait, we went to Poster, right? Did we trade you? Where did you go? Where did we move you to? Yes, you do. I gave you the wrong jersey too. So we had a snafu in the draft. We took an extra defenseman on Kip's team. So we ended up having to make a switch and the kid was great about it. His dad's actually the one that caught it. So he's actually on the jacks with, crew, get back up here. You just inherit, no, you, we, you knew this. We took, wait, was it you or was it? No, yeah, Sammy, get up here. Sam, sorry. Sam, you had the open spot. We missed one. I'm sorry, I'm semi. I'm sorry. Again. So Mania, you're cut, and in place of Mania. What? Are you serious? Sorry, that's how it goes in the show, I'm, buddy. I'm the GM of my own team. This is how it goes. No, we forgot a legit player. I make the decisions. Okay, so number, I don't even know what the hell number he is, but Heath Anderson, everyone. Heath Anderson. Give me that round of applause, because I'm a moron. Yeah, Heath, I have a black jersey with your name on it, so I'll fix that. Okay, that was on me. Okay, so as he's getting this picture, um, I'm gonna be done in two minutes, I promise, but I, I, this is really important, because you you need to know, like, all right, now now what? Now we're getting ready for Wednesday, right? We're gonna start playing some games. So, um, the schedule, the player profiles, the whole enchilada is on the Michigan League website. Get Put that in your phone, michiganleaguehockey.net. The girls demanded that you like and share on Twitter and Insta, right? That's what they tell me all the time. Like and share. So if we're not in your phone, go to your phone, find Michigan League Hockey. But uh, everything's going to be on the Michigan League website, okay? So there's no KV. I know a lot of you guys you know, played through the association. There's, we don't have a, a calendar there. Just all the games are there. So I know this is what you really want to see more than anything. Um, this is the lineup uh, for the next eight weeks. Uh, again, it will be on the KV website. It's not there at this minute, but it will be there. So our opening night this Wednesday would love would love to have this size crowd at all of our games. I think that really gives uh, it's exciting for the players uh, to have bodies. But grab your parents and your neighbors and your anybody else that you can find on the street and bring them to. 
the KV Ice House Wednesday nights for these two games. And I will, I'll say this is important. The six o'clock game, guys, my expectation is you stay and watch the second game, okay? Uh, and, and, and that's just how that should go, all right? So, and then the eight o'clock game, guys, come early to watch the six o'clock game, guys. I think the, the excitement that we could create at the rink um, you know, speaks volumes. So again, here, this is your schedule. Basically the way this goes because of the four teams, we didn't want to water this down at all. So the players that we have are all like the type of players that we need to make the, make the thing go. Um, so there's, we play, basically play a double home and home. Okay, so play every team twice and then we'll go to, uh, to the semis. We take the week of 4th of July off, just so you know. All right, so this is it. Good luck. Have fun, because this is going to be so much fun. And be great. Thank you. I got paid in under It wasn't mine. Hey, get the camera rolling again. Wait, grab one real quick.